Ok, get ready! Today I'll show you different riddles, and you'll have to decide which girl is behaving least wisely, which is a nicer way of saying she's a dunderhead. You'll have 7 seconds to decide. The riddles may award 1 point, 2 points, or 3 points. So grab a piece of paper and give yourself the points each time you get it right. We'll start with the easiest questions that earn 1 point each. Autumn and Hope are going for a walk with their friends. It's 60 degrees outside. Who is dressed in the worst way? Hope. Autumn can take some of her clothes off, but Hope doesn't have anything to wear in case she feels cold. Ava and Olivia are camping in a forest. Suddenly, they encounter a bear on their trail. Ava stands still, and Olivia starts to run away. Who is in danger? Olivia! The bear might see her as prey and follow, and he's definitely faster. So it's better to keep your cool and slowly move backwards, keeping the eye contact. Haley and Savannah are making sandwiches for lunch. Who did something terribly wrong? Haley. She put rat poison in the sandwich instead of jelly. Delaney is on the road trip and stopped to make a couple of pictures. Lenore is riding a bike to a nearby city. Who isn't being smart? Delaney. She parked her car right under the sign that says parking isn't allowed. Jane and Charlotte are learning how to swim. Jane went to the lake with her little siblings, and Charlotte went to the ocean with her friends. They both jumped in the water alone. Who is in greater danger? Jane. In case she struggles, her little siblings won't be able to pull her out. McKenna and Desiree are late for school, so they're taking a shortcut. McKenna takes the way through the woods, and Desiree decides to go across a frozen lake. Who's in danger? Desiree. There are cracks on the lake surface. Ruby and Mary were enjoying their time outside when a storm started. Ruby hid in her car in the open space, and Mary kept swimming in the ocean. Who is not safe? Mary should get out immediately. It's dangerous to touch water during a thunderstorm. It's okay to hide in a hardtop vehicle as Ruby did. Ok, easy questions are over. Next questions will give you 2 points each. Paige and Riley are going on a date, but they tell their parents they're practicing instead. Paige plays tennis, and Riley plays soccer. Who's the worst conspirator? Riley. She's dressed inappropriately for a soccer game. Unlike Paige, she doesn't have any change of clothes or equipment with her. Quinn and Sandra are working in a garden. Quinn was told to water the flowers, and Sandra should mow the lawn. Who's doing something wrong? Quinn. She was told to water the flowers, but she's watering the trees. Everly and Jasmine drove to a mall. Everly left her belongings in the car, and Jasmine locked her dog there while she's shopping. Who's being more stupid? Jasmine. You shouldn't leave animals or people in a closed car, especially in the hot sun. It's the wrong way to get a hot dog. Mia and Stella wanted to get a tattoo and skip their classes to get home right after school. When they get home, they immediately run into their parents. Who's going to get in trouble?
Stella. Her tattoo is right on her wrist, and there's no way her parents won't notice it immediately. Hannah's best friend is teaching her ice skating, and Lily is learning to ride a bike with her older brother. After several minutes, they feel like they've got it and ride away from their supervisors very fast. Who's least careful? Lily. Hannah has the railing by her side that she can grab in case she falls. Lily will crash to the ground. Kylie and Abby are bloggers getting ready for a party. Who is missing something? Kylie. She's charging her cell phone, but the cord is unplugged. Melanie and Delilah are walking home from work late in the night. Which of the two isn't being careful? Melanie. Although she's walking in a less creepy place, there are no people around. If something happens, no one will be around to help her. Sophia and Brooke went camping in the forest. Suddenly, they notice a moose moving towards them. Who is in greater danger? Sophia, who is wearing heels and will run slower. Brooke can drop her huge backpack and use it as an obstacle. Kira and Ava want to go to a party, but their parents banned them from leaving the house. Kira decided to sneak out using the attic window, while Ava used the back door. Who won't make it to the party tonight? Ava. Kira is quite risky, but Ava's dad is reading a newspaper in the backyard. Maya and Chloe went for a walk. Maya went to a forest and stopped to take selfies with a friendly squirrel she met. Chloe went hiking and decided to take a selfie on the cliff. Who is in danger? Maya. The branch above her is about to fall. Maeve and Sarah are cheating on their math test. Who is more likely to be caught? Sarah. Although she's sitting in the back, the teacher's looking right at her. Bella and Ashley came home from a party, which they told their parents would be a study date. Who's going to be grounded till the end of the month? Bella. She'll have a hard time coming up with a logical explanation for the confetti in her hair. Elizabeth and Kate are late for work, so they're driving above the speed limit. Which of them is in greater danger? Kate. She has many objects lying scattered in her car. In case of an accident, they may hit her. Ariana and Serena have to do their house chores before they'll be allowed to go to the birthday party. Who is going to be late? Ariana, the iron isn't plugged in. Since she's distracted with the TV, it might take her a while to notice. And finally, here are the hardest questions that award 3 points each. Jessica and Margo are jaywalking. Jessica is listening to music, and Margo is texting her friend. Who is in greater danger? Jessica. Although they're both behaving poorly, Margot is on a straight road where she can be noticed. Jessica is jaywalking before the road takes a turn. Someone might not have enough time to react and stop. Julia and Nea are taking a vacation to the jungles. Julia got tangled up in lianas. And Nea got stuck in quicksand. Who's in danger?
Juliet. She can't get out, and there's a jaguar approaching her. Nea is relatively fine because it's actually difficult to sink in quicksand. Leah and her friend Caleb went camping. Caleb was bitten by a snake, and Leah is sucking the venom out of his leg. Amelia is on the trip as well, and there's a black widow on her neck. Who is in danger? Leah. It's dangerous to suck out the venom. As for Amelia, black widows rarely bite, and the bites are rarely fatal. Becky and Allison are both in a bathtub doing their morning routine. Becky is using the hairdryer. Allison is charging her phone while scrolling through the internet. Who is less clever? Allison. It's dangerous enough to have a socket close to the water, but Allison is charging her phone. Becky is sitting in the empty bathtub. She might be a little weird, but at least she's safe. Evelyn and Grace are on vacation. Evelyn is spending it in a desert, and Grace is in the wilderness. By the end of the day, they get tired and decide to spend the night where they are. Who's making a huge mistake? Evelyn. Night temperature in the desert can fall to 25 degrees Fahrenheit and she'll be freezing. Grace's fire will scare away wild animals. Emma and Avery are planning to go to the movies with their friends tonight. Meanwhile, they're enjoying a hot summer day. Who's not going to make it to the movies? Avery. She's about to cook the meat that has been standing in the sun for a while. In the evening, she'll get food poisoning. Scarlett and Emily are sitting on a beach in the city center. Scarlett is applying makeup, and Emily is texting her friends. Who is more likely to be robbed? Emily. Although they're both distracted, at least Scarlett has a mirror in her hands and can see if someone is approaching her. Ella and Madison are driving to their friend's birthday party. Ella is chatting on the phone with her boyfriend, while Madison is applying lipstick. Who is in greater danger? Madison. Although they both shouldn't be distracted while driving, Madison isn't wearing a seatbelt. Now, sum up your points. If you got less than 25 points, you scored below average. But, but don't be sad. Check out some of our other riddles to train. If you've got between 26 and 40 points, you have an average score and you're on the right track. If you scored between 41 and 55, you're above average. And if you scored 56 or more, you must be a second Einstein. Uh, relatively speaking. <laughs> the strict professor. A student put his final exam paper into the pile of the other students' papers. The professor told him, I saw you were cheating at the exam. You'll get an automatic fail. Then the student asked him, Do you know who I am? The professor answered, I neither know nor care who you are. You have to be punished for your dishonesty. The student walked away. When the exam scores were announced, he discovered he'd gotten an A. How come? The professor indeed didn't know who the student was. That's why he graded his paper just like anyone else's. The chef's out. The owner of the restaurant, Vegan Paradise, called the police. He was in a panic. Someone has attacked our chef! He was taken to a hospital several minutes ago. Our rivals must have sent someone to ruin my business. When the police officers came to the restaurant, they learned that three people had been in the staff area during the accident. The first cook was cutting onions when the chef was hurt. He told the police his vision had been blurred because of the tears, and he hadn't seen anything. The second cook was peeling shrimps when the accident happened. He said he had been listening to music through his earphones, and he hadn't heard anything. 
The third person, a waitress, claimed she had been serving lemonade outside. Who's lying? The second cook attacked the chef. Come on, shrimps in a vegan restaurant? Really? Wolf Paradox Three wolves were walking in the snow in a line. One of them says, there are no wolves in front of me. Another says, there's one wolf in front of me and one behind. The third wolf says, there are two wolves in front of me and one behind. In which case is it possible? It's possible only if the third wolf's lying. Puppy Mystery Emily had a puppy she loved to the moon and back. But those around her couldn't stand the adorable pooch. Emily's husband hated how much time his wife spent with the dog. Her friend Deborah didn't like that every time she visited Emily, she had fur on her clothes. And the family maid just wasn't a fan of animals. One day, Emily came home and didn't find her puppy. The woman was furious. Her husband told her he had just come back from work and knew nothing about the dog. Her friend got offended. I left my scarf here last evening. I've come to pick it up. The maid claimed she hadn't even come close to the pup because of her allergy. Who knows where the pooch is? There's pet hair all over the floor. Why doesn't the maid have an allergy to it? She's lying. Truth or not? Eric, a police detective, was having lunch in a cafe. At some moment, he went to the bathroom and left his smartphone on the table. When he came back, the phone was gone. The detective saw a man leaving the place and ran after him. Eric stopped him when the man was about to sit in a car. The detective told the man to give him his gadget back. But the man seemed confused. I know nothing about your phone. I just gave my friends a lift to work. And he pointed at two men entering an office building. After hearing this, Eric immediately called the police. Why? The man lied. His car was a sports convertible with just two seats. The car wouldn't have fit three men. Who went out? In the middle of the night, Dennis was woken up by a loud crash. One of the kids must have been out. Ah, but they know they aren't allowed to leave after curfew. The man went to check on the children. All three of them, Catherine, Ruth, and Larry, seemed to be sleeping peacefully. Look at the kids and try to figure out who sneaked out of the house. It was Ruth. There's a dirty sneaker hidden behind the curtain and several pieces of french fries under her bed. Theft on a train Brenda was traveling by train. It was scorching hot in the carriage. The girl took off her gold bracelet decorated with diamonds and put it on the table in front of her. Several minutes later, the train entered a tunnel and it got pitch dark. When the tunnel was left behind, there was no bracelet on the table. Boy, I'm surprised. Brenda was shocked. Someone's taken my bracelet. There were just three other people in the compartment. Helen said she'd been sleeping. Rachel was reading a book on her phone. And Gregory had gone to the bathroom even before the train entered the tunnel. Who took the bracelet? It was Helen. At first, she had her sleeves rolled up. But now, they covered her arms down to the wrists, hiding the bracelet. Underwater fire A sailor got a letter from his girlfriend. In this message, she told him she'd cheated on him. The man was so furious, he managed to burn the letter under the water. After doing it, he got arrested. How is it all possible? The man was a sailor on a submarine. A New Year Party Emma was giving a New Year party. Everyone was having the time of their lives. But then, someone snuck into the kitchen and added something to all the drinks. Emma and all her guests got food poisoning. Only three guys were okay. 
they hadn't been drinking anything, and it looked suspicious. The first said he was into sports and had to stay fresh for his morning run. The second guy blushed but admitted that he liked Emma. He had been waiting for an opportunity to talk to her for the entire evening. And the third guy complained he had been having a stomach ache since the beginning of the party. He didn't want to make it worse by drinking anything. Who poisoned the drinks? It was the second guy. He has shoe covers on. He was wearing them not to leave footprints on the kitchen floor. King's heir. An old king has passed away. Two men, the true heir and an imposter, claim to be his long-lost son. Both fit the description. In their 30s, tall, blonde, and with facial features similar to those of the late king. One of the ministers suggests a blood test to identify the true heir. One man immediately agrees, while the other flatly refuses. Surprisingly, the one who has agreed is arrested, while the other man is correctly accepted as the rightful heir. Why? The minister knew the true prince was a hemophiliac. It means his blood doesn't clot properly. That's why a blood test would be fatal for him. Impossible. You are alone in a room. But there's also a thief in the same room. How is it possible? Sorry to break it to you, but you're the thief. Which mom's rich? Look at these beautiful young moms. They both look stylish, but only one of them is loaded. Which one? The second mom's rich. Look attentively at the first woman's baby carriage. There's a sail tag on it. A mysterious door. A man walked into a room and saw three doors. The first one had a sign which read, To the Swamps. On the second door, there was a note, Lion's Den. The third door didn't have any sign, but the man knew for sure where it led. How? It was the door he had entered through. A missing millionaire. Police got a call from the house of a wealthy man who hadn't come back after going for a jog. When several officers arrived, they questioned the maid, the millionaire's wife, and his driver. The maid said, When Mr. Jones went for a jog, he asked me to prepare his breakfast. I immediately got down to work, but it's been three hours and he hasn't returned yet. The wife was worried too. I saw him in the morning, but he was in a hurry. We just greeted each other and I went to work. The driver told the police he had been waiting for his boss in the car smoking and checking his social media. Who knows something about the millionaire's disappearance? The maid's lying. If she had cut the apples for breakfast three hours ago, they would have turned brown by now. King's decision. Once, a king asked his advisors, What should I do to a person who will dare to touch my beard? I need to punish this crime somehow. The first advisor said, put them in prison for three years. The second advisor answered, oh, make them leave the country and tell them to never come back. The third advisor provided an unexpected reply. They should be given sweets. The king thought for a while and agreed with the third advisor. Why? The only one daring enough to touch someone's beard, especially if it belongs to a king, will be a child.